there used to be this thing where they had certain areas, certain billings that were going through Medicare that were being turned out. I had it somewhere in my evidence that got stolen. That at various times, there were supposed to be things that were billable and then they were going to expire. And when I first found it, it started in 2018. And then it was supposed to go for the next two to three years. They were just gradually retiring certain um, areas. And the ironic thing is they were staggered by 100. That they were always 100 under what they were actually aiming for. And the first one was failure to thrive. And it had to do with infant birth rate. Now, if I'm not incorrect, on today's federal register, there is a specific notice concerning infant health. And when I found it, it said failure to thrive. And it's already been put into effect. But one of the things that was alarming is one day on a Sunday, I woke up and they told me that a church I had attended in Houston had just sold my medical information to thrive to the, 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 the some capital venture firm named thrive that they had some sort of uh, advanced medical uh, paradigm because I was working on what I understood was the incipient stages of space Hawk that I had a very specific paradigm around um, how to actually do what the intention was for a space hawk, the actual business side. The problem is, if you got to deal with things on that level, and instead the DOD is co-conspiring with venture capitalists to make porn of your life in order to do any number of other things, rather than responding to you requesting an investigation of your certifications and industrial techniques that would be necessary for application in doing what you wanted to do successfully, then you kind of are in a difficult situation. And I'm saying, why the fuck is this church that I've only gone to a couple of times, and by the way, ended up kicking me out because they said I made people feel unsafe, which was total bullshit. Um, why is this church running a transaction where somehow they have access to my medical data and they're selling my medical data to this steel enterprise. And then shortly after that, I found that social security information. And I said, you don't think somebody would take something like a coding of failure to thrive and just because it has the word thrive in it would set up something to maybe launder assets connected to social security, especially associated with infant or child health care to a private company just because it has Thiel's name in it, or just because it has the word Thrive in it. And this was in uh, February, the, this was in March of 2018. And shortly after that, you know, I made, I, I caused a disturbance or I fucked up something and I needed to leave. Well, my wife needs you to leave. It's always the wife, right? Uh, my wife doesn't want you here anymore. You need to leave. Okay. Right? Well... I had a newspaper with me when I left from the Wall Street Journal. It had a list of treasury issues. And I understood when I found it. I said, wait a sec, they put that on my class. They put that on my high school graduating class. And so I started tracking them and I developed my, I was in the process of developing my own anti-money laundering system with that. Now those, stu those treasuries, some of them came due. And a little over a year later, there was a reissue from Treasury that had absolute correlation with dates associated with things I had reported. And I understood when they did it in the context of the Democrats announcing the political, the presidential campaign season that they were hedging on specific Democrats. Guess what? One of them is now going to the executive office. Let's put it that way. One of those candidates that I understand Treasury made a specific reissue for in conjunction with hedging on the Democratic presidential season is actually on their way to D.C. in an executive position. Right? And then, you know, the reason I bring this up is because Thiel is also involved with an organization called Cadre. And for years, I kept having people run subroutines and ding me for shit connected to when I was on the board of directors or the National Political Committee for the Democratic Socialists of America. 
And then I ended up getting kidnapped at the Neuropsychiatric Center. And then got put under Detect, Surveil, and Assess, which is an NIH model for how to handle people that are part of clinical trials. Right? And ever since the beginning of uh, this uh, COVID-19 shit, you've got other members of the NPC, the National Petroleum Council, committing high, high, high fucking crimes. Right? Now, see, if you guys had not cut off any competent executive functioning coming from a woman who won't engage in acts of prostitution, the National Petroleum Council would have already been assessed detected and surveilled for its compliance with a 25-year capital outlay that was supposed to come due the beginning of this year with a new carbon capture plan. The National Petroleum Council released a variety of documents concerning both uh, reformation of the gas and oil sector as well as transportation associated with the gas and oil sector. It was released uh, at the end of last year for implementation. I understood to start the beginning of this year. But then COVID-19 came up. And all of a sudden, everything has been uh, what? Now, the question is, did the NPC, the National Petroleum Council, actually intend to use a biological warfare in order to start the beginning stages? of whatever this plan is that I understand is part of a turnover on a 25-year deal that they had already participated in and committed to. I haven't even been able to get to that stuff because all of this crap about zero energy and net zero and all of this shit is basically about trying to get people to agree to let other people put a valuation on surveillance that gets stolen about their lives up to and including acts of sex they actually engage in or even just sex acts that are running in the background that may or may not manifest in some sort of exhibition of compliance with a pre-engineered performance paradigm. Did Cadre effectuate an attempted assassination of Bernie Sanders last fall while he was in Las Vegas? Did they want Bernie Sanders to be their repository for their plutonium project because he had an actual named association and an actual advisory council position on the Democratic Socialists of America? Did they hope to make him the big daddy? of their de detect, surveil, and assess illegal coinage scam. I was real-time aware of what you did to Bernie Sanders, by the way. I was real fucking time aware of what you did the whole fucking time, all the way up through his public notice. Just so you know, did you want to make some socialist uh, black market currency? Is it going to be illegal tender in order to leverage all of the good shit you get when you ban something and then find a way to get access to it in abuse of your political position so it can be marked up on the black market. I think that's exactly what you did. All right. 